okay, this is my final four. The These guys are all living, right? We agreed on that. They got to be a living comedian. You know, I almost wanted to put Andy Kindler in here. You know, I love Andy Kindler, but he does not like me, and he has TDS. But I just give him a special mention. Uh, I'm going to go with number four. For the fourth greatest living comedian, of course, is Dennis Miller. Dennis Miller, everybody. Uh, he's uh, probably blocked by Andy Kindler now that I think about it. You know, uh, Miller is not... Do you know I used to hate that guy back when he was on Saturday Night Live doing the news? Because I didn't like the way he flipped his hair. I figured he was some kind of like smug lefty type. Uh, but he's right if you go back and look at some of his... Uh, early stuff, he's he's not really changed his views very much, but in modern times, he's become like this uh, right wing, like they, that's what they'll, he's a right wing, far conservative type, I, I love this radio show too, but that guy is good, I always think of like, um, I think it was Adam Carolla used to make the comment that he was like a young guy, wanted to get into show business, wanted to be a comedian, uh, turns on the Dennis Miller special watches it and goes well I ain't fucking doing that I guess because it was like he was just couldn't get past how good Miller was and uh, that's a fact man the guy is just the best of the best if you go back and find some of his specials they're really good I'm not clipping stuff because it takes me a long time and I don't I guess I'm not good at it and then it probably gets like a strike or something but uh, I did like his one about uh a great one like at the time too I think this was a bit crazy but it was like uh, I know pedophiles can make it uh, to heaven but they just got to off themselves you know and then the bit was like you know he shows up in heaven after the shotgun incident and says yeah I don't know man I had like this crazy thing I was gonna do something to a kid and then I so I, I felt like I couldn't stop myself if it ha- if it, this came over me again. So I got a shotgun and I blew my head off. And then God would be like putting his arm around him going, you did a good job, good job. <laughs> well done, faithful servant. So that stuff like that, man, that was good, good stuff. There's a lot of really good Dennis Miller stuff. Guys, I'm on pills right now, so I don't know how well this is going to go in the end. But Dennis Miller's the fourth best in the whole world. Wow, you know, when I see this picture, it is, it's freaky to think that half the people in this photo are gone. Um, yeah, that's a strange feeling, isn't it? Uh, you know, seriously, I think Kevin Nealon could be up there. And I love his uh, smooth style. It's one of the best of the best. But Kevin Nealon, no, he's not in my top Oh, no, we're now we're going on to top three. Okay, we had the master, Dennis Miller. We have... Yeah, of course it's Louis C.K. What the, what the fuck? Of course he's one of the, the, the top three best living comedians in the world. If I had to pick uh, a Louis C.K. bit, also the one with the bank where he has no money, and then, so because he has no money, he has less money. It was a little too real for me, but... Uh, I kind of like the one where he was, he'd made some money and he was in a really nice apartment. And then he liked the idea that he'd go out on Sunday and then somebody, like a snooty rich guy that lived there, wanted to know who that guy was and if he belonged there. Uh, but, you know, and then he knew that he did live, uh, anyway, you guys can find it. Um, what about, do you guys remember that thing he had where he got in trouble for doing a weird thing? And I'm, kind of like with Seinfeld on this and actually really I feel as the most common uh, response was like is that a thing that you, people do <laughs> like I can like let me under I I get that a guy would maybe want to a woman in the room to do that and then he watches I didn't, didn't know that that was a thing where he would want somebody to watch you doing that I don't get that at all, but okay. Um, 
not going to go on about that. It doesn't matter. It's not important. Louis C.K., his uh, whole mic. There's not really anything bad to say about Louis C.K. He's just one of the best in the best in the whole world. So let's go to... Uh, what's our next one? Oh, shit. You guys aren't going to like this. Yeah, of course. The, the second best living comedian in the whole world is Jay Leno. Fuck you. You guys, uh, you're just not getting what I'm trying to put out here, my friends. Uh, it is not... This is... Oh, can we please remind everyone? This is the... Uh, this is more objective. And this is also the accumulation of a career. Right? So it's, it's not just who has the funniest joke you ever heard. It's also who can do it for their whole lifetime. Jay Leno easily one of the best living stand-up comedians in the world and i'm gonna tell you why because jay leno can do everything and he can do everything well that fucking guy can show up at a biker bar at sturgis laughs and you can per minute you know however you want to put it that way per 30 seconds laughs 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 he can get laughs through straight through the whole thing get up go over to some corny corporate gig just same deal solid solid laughs from beginning to end uh, does a tonight show monologue it's as good as laughs as they can ever expect go down to some wacky alt com what who knows what do surprisingly well he can walk into joe rogan's audience get laughs it, you know there are comedians out there that you would you, you think they're pretty amazing but what you're really seeing is like they filtered down their audience uh people sometimes wonder like how, how does joe rogan possibly be such a popular comedian humping his stool but it's because rogan over his career he really wasn't getting better he's filtering he's filtering out his audience to his ideal 75 whatever bitcoin guys that think that you're cool if you go bow hunting or something faggy like that so he's narrowing it down and then he's getting better and better specifically at entertaining that small group leno is almost the opposite of that he he expands and he gets better at doing everything for everyone anyway that's all he's the best you know he's gonna be the best and then he's gonna go like this and he's fucking number two but who's number uh shit it's of course it's fucking bill cosby it's the cause uh reminder before you get into this fuckos uh bill cosby is 100 percent not guilty of any crimes and some of you just went yes he is. he's not and uh, interestingly cosby has never been ever wrongfully convicted or otherwise of the r word of um or even non-consent of any woman ever and if you don't believe me you go go on to your reddit or whatever the fuck you do and you'll find out that i'm correct and as of now he's alive and forget it there's nothing you're not there's no one greater than the cause that guy's career and by the way go find his earliest bits like on the tonight show his first appearances oh man that is how you do it wow that is it's from the walkout to the walking in and off stage is Perf it's all it's close to perfection as it gets and uh then who could forget the cosby kids and uh who can forget um you know i fucking hated that cosby show you remember that one where he, there were the two parents that were fucking assholes and uh they were dicks to their weird collection of kids that were like like some of them were dark black and some of them were like white it was weird but uh, I hated that fucking show. Uh, but the thing is, Cosby, man, you can't beat it. And I'm telling you, he still does some appearances. Uh, not guilty of anything whatsoever. 100% innocent. And the Cosby's done it all. 
Hi, guys, I'm just trying to finish this up because I started doing this fucking top 10 thing. And I had all these little factoids and funny things and cute clips and stuff. And I don't care anymore. So, uh, that's it. Fuck it. And uh, by the way, uh, this channel is uh, definitely shadow banned. Okay? <laughs> it's not good. I cannot reemphasize this enough. So, I'm probably just going to creative comments. Uh, creative, what do they call it? Creative commons. Uh, everything on this. And people can fuck around with video clips if they want. Uh, obviously not things that are like a red bar clips or something. That's his deal. But uh, any stuff I made, uh, you can just do whatever you want with it. I bet you somebody, like some weird nerds out there, can use some AI and do something with it. Uh, okay, well, fuck you all very much. Uh, you've heard it. That's the way it is. Now, uh, God bless you all. Seriously, though. No. Okay, bye. Um...